Now let's do a little video on technique. How do I do a three color striped pour? Well, let's get right to it. To start, I'm gonna mix up all of my silicone. In this case, I'm gonna mix everything that I need for this particular pour all at once. Now I do this for a couple of reasons. First, by mixing all of my silicone all at once, I know that all of my colors are gonna cure finish at exactly the same time. If I were to mix them separately, the first color would probably finish before the others. Second, I save myself a lot of time. And when we're working with a time limit, the faster I can get things done, the better. And then finally, working with a single larger batch means that I can be more accurate with my measurements. Notice that I'm really whipping this around. I want to make sure that everything is properly mixed. Scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, and work it really good. Yes, I know, I'm whipping air into the mix, but we'll take care of that in a few minutes. Now, let's section off what we need for each color. Starting with 240 grams of silicone, I'll split that into three cups of 80 grams each. Now the big cup is where we want to put the color that we want in the middle. The other colors can go in the other cups. Since our silicone is already mixed, all we need to do is incorporate our pigments into the silicone. Now check, make sure there aren't any chunks of pigment. We've got tons of bubbles, but no chunks, and that's good. Now, we're gonna use the vacuum chamber to suck all of that air out of that silicone. What we wanna see is that silicone rise and then collapse, and once it stops bubbling, we can keep going. Using our big cup as our base, we're going to lay the other two colors on either side, leaving a thin line of that middle color in between. Pour one color to one side, and then flip everything around and then add your second color. This is what we want to end up with. Now we're going to pour right along that line of the middle color. Silicone has a mind of its own sometimes. You might see one color race to the front. It's annoying, but sometimes entropy wins. All right, now we're gonna set that to the side and let it cure. And here's a little pro tip for you. Always keep your cups with your mold. That way we can check the curing process without disturbing the mold and we can do some troubleshooting if we need to. And now we get to demold it. We'll break it loose and then pop it out of the mold. And here's what we ended up with. We've got good definition between our colors all the way down the length. And so that's how I pour stripes. Now, if you'd like to learn how I make my molds, you should totally check out this video. And with that, I am out, and I will catch you in the next video.